Hi, I'm Joe Peruzzi, and welcome to another edition of Streets. We're at the Department of Natural Resources boat launch near the Clinton River Spillway. In our first segment, we take a look at a new initiative spearheaded by the Macomb Public Works Office to improve the quality of fish and wildlife habitat in the Clinton River and Lake St. Clair. The county's Public Works Office under Commissioner Anthony Morocco recently received a grant to begin the restoration of the Clinton River Spillway and Lake St. Clair. Back in 2011, Macomb County Public Works Office applied for the, a grant on behalf of the Clinton River Spillway Intercounty Drain Board, and we applied through the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative for people who don't know, that's um, a pot of money that's been made available through the federal government specifically for protecting and restoring the Great Lakes and its uh, tributaries. Commissioner Morocco throughout the years has you know, really pushed to have environmental uh, programs initiated. So it, being an environmental engineer, it's been a great um, opportunity for me to be involved and to promote projects throughout the county. The first step in the process is to establish a baseline count of fish varieties in the spillway. That's done by temporarily shocking the fish, counting the number of species found in a given area, and returning the fish to the waterways unharmed. As part of the, uh, the operations to understand what the resource currently stands at, we are going out and doing a fish shock shocking exercise. What this does is it establishes a basis of what species are actually using the resource in its current state. It's a baseline evaluation, which is commonly referred to. We put a charge of electricity into the water uh, and it temporarily stuns any fish which, in, which is in the electrical current zone of influence. Uh, the fish uh, basically numbs the fish, they float to the surface where they're captured in nets. They are then placed into coolers or into receptacles that are aerated to keep the fish alive. Uh, once we're finished with our sampling area, uh, we will then species the fish and count the numbers and size them. The fish are then released. The shocking program in no way harms the fish, but it is an effective, quick way to count the number of species that inhabit a waterway. By re-establishing and building fish populations in the spillway in Clinton River, the county can significantly improve upon the variety of fish species in the waterways. We've been monitoring the, the site all year long for different ecological conditions, trying to get baseline of what type of fish and turtles and uh, birds that are out here and what type of species are using this. The, the spillway originally wasn't built for habitat purposes, but uh, you know, it was built for flood conveyance. And our objective here is to integrate the, those benefits with recreation and with habitat improvements. This is a round goby and found near the, the mouth toward the, the lake part of the spillway and these are ecologically invasive species. They tend to eat a lot of the, um, a lot of the food, the lower uh, ecological food base for some of the perch and some of the more native fish species. So that's how they can really be detrimental. A lot of the zooplankton and, and other uh, invertebrates, they can really have a significant impact and they get into um, areas of the Clinton River and they're starting to migrate up different tributaries of the Clinton now. By um, implementing the project, we'll have some better habitat for fish for spawning and for um, various seasons, spring, summer, and fall, for the different species. And we're hoping to provide some habitat for turtles and for birds and things like that. Brown crayfish. We were checking for the rusty crayfish, which is another invasive, which can be very aggressive, taking over habitat in streams where they exist. But this is a good indicator of water quality. Crayfish are uh, very beneficial species. So we're hoping to improve the diversity and quantities of different types of native crayfish in the 
spillway channel. We want to take a resource which has a limited capacity for uh, biological uh, uh, diversity and enhance it, improve it, uh, naturalize it. It's a resource that is valued by the residents of both townships, the county, and southeastern Michigan, both as a fishery and as an ecological corridor. The grant funding comes from the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration, NOAA for short. No taxpayer monies from Macomb County residents are being used in the program. Well, there's a very uh, diverse variety of fish. Uh, this is actually our second uh, shocking of the channel. Uh, the, uh, there was a one also done by the DNR during the summer months several years ago. We conducted a sampling uh, earlier this year in April uh, to see what type of species we're using the resource in the spring and now we're going to sample in the fall just to see what the difference is uh, in the species diversification. In the springtime we uh, came up with 21 different species of fish. The Macomb County Grant is one of eight awarded by NOAA in Michigan. The project, once completed, will help refurbish and adapt the existing spillway to reduce erosion and sediment buildup and will surprisingly affect more than 200 acres of river corridor to Lake St. Clair. We think that uh, uh, fish are dependent upon spawning and rearing habitat. Uh, and any time you have an increase in that, uh, that type of habitat, you have an increase in the numbers of, of fish using the resource and, and in the lake. So we're, this is uh, it's a very large project. Uh, it's not uh, common for us to see projects uh, that span two miles of shoreline, but uh, so we're really excited about seeing this, uh, this happen. Other grants that we do have going on at Public Works right now, we have a wetland restoration grant that will be um, implemented in the North Branch of the Clinton River. We'll be partnering with the Huron-Clinton Metro Parks and we plan on restoring over 20 acres of wetlands on their property. And we also have the cattle bridge removal along the North Branch. So I think all these projects coming together will really enhance Lake St. Clair and the Clinton River watershed.